All right, so one example here of taking uh, an expression involving multiple logarithms and writing it as a single logarithm. And if you watch the other videos, you may have noticed that I've actually changed this example a little bit. Um, so we're going to write this as a single logarithm. 5 ln of x plus 13 ln of x cubed plus 5 minus 1 half ln of x plus 1. And the only reason why I changed it a second ago, I had 1 half ln of x. You know, we could just do the arithmetic at the beginning. You would have 5 ln of x minus 1 half ln of x, and we could simplify that. You would just do 5 minus 1 half, and so uh, just to uh, avoid that a little bit, I'm just going to kind of change everything uh, just to make it hopefully a little bit, to hopefully make it illustrate a little bit better using these properties. Okay, so that's the only reason why we changed it. So the first thing I'm going to do, again, is just kind of go backwards. I'm going to pull all of the coefficients. I'm going to write those as exponents. Um, the positives and the negatives, um, I'm just going to leave those out front. So I'm just going to take uh, the coefficient, not worrying about the sign. So we could write our first term as ln of x raised to the fifth power. We could write our next term as the natural logarithm of x cubed plus 5 raised to the 13th power. And then we would have minus the natural logarithm of x plus 1 raised to the 1 half power. And now, okay, all the coefficients are gone. You know, you've got positive ones and negative ones. That's what I want. Now I'm just going to start uh, kind of combining them two at a time as I move basically left to right. So the first one here, well, it says if you have addition between logarithms, it says we can write that as multiplication. So we'll have x to the fifth times the other stuff, which is x cubed plus 5 raised to the 13th power minus the natural logarithm. Okay, and again, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to. Remember, if something has an exponent of 1 half, that's really the same thing as a square root. So I'll write that as the natural logarithm of the square root of x plus 1. Don't need the parentheses, but I'm just going to stick them in there. It definitely doesn't make it incorrect. Well, now the uh, last thing I'm going to do, it says if you have a logarithm of some stuff minus a logarithm with the same base, and they are here, they're both natural logarithms. So it says if you have a logarithm of some stuff minus a logarithm of some stuff, we can just simply write that as division. Again, as long as they're the same base. Well, all right, so we've got x to the fifth times uh, x to the third plus 5 raised to the 13th power, all divided by the square root of x plus 1. And now we're finished. We've taken our original expression and we've sort of recondensed it as an expression involving a single logarithm.